you say the top three skills needed to become a successful entrepreneur? You need to be innovative. Uh, you need to be enthusiastic. Um, and, and you need to be fired up all the time. You need to hit the ground running every day. So energy is extremely important for an entrepreneur. I think you need a million skills and you need to good, have a good balance of that. But if, if I do need to say the top three, I would say you need to be great at sales, selling your products, selling your business, selling yourself, uh, selling your company, selling everything. Um, obviously, you can outsource it, but in my experience, I always see the greatest entrepreneurs are the best salespeople. Um, secondly, I think you need to be super positive. The economy is going to crash down, you're going to lose clients, and if you're a pessimist and you're always going to see the negative side, you will never survive in this world. So I think you need to be an optimist times a thousand. And lastly, I do think you need to be great with people. Uh, we sometimes hear about the entrepreneurs who are terrible with people, um, but I think they get it right in other ways. But you're going to need to convince clients, staff to work with you, you're going to need to build a great team. And people who are not great with people very seldom get that right. So you have to have people skills. Very important. People don't do business with assholes. So chances of you getting return clients um, is because you are good with people. You understand people and also don't be arrogant. Um, so your people skills have to be really on point. If you suck at that, get somebody, get a, you know, one of those life coaches to teach you how to deal with people because those are valuable skills that you, um, you'll have to have when you do it. And then also the numbers, numbers are very, very important, understanding the numbers in your business because that's how you're able to keep, get a sense of where are we financially and where should we be if we want to grow. Having a grasp on your numbers is very, very important. A lot of business schools can actually help you in that. And then also I think one skill that you should have is having a thick skin, knowing that sometimes it's not about you and then sometimes um, you know you have to be able to push back, you have to be able to assert yourself. And it's something that is built over time, it doesn't just happen. But you need to know that you have to have a thick skin because it's sometimes not about you. Uh, no, I think there's a, there's a million skills and, and every entrepreneur I know is good at many, many different things. I think the idea is to know what skills you have and make sure that you correct for the other ones. So if you're a salesperson, make sure you correct for somebody who's maybe operational. If, you're, if you have operational sales, uh, maybe get somebody who's got a mindset for uh, financial numbers and things like this. Uh, you need to, to cover all of those things. You, you need to make sure that you know, you, there's somebody that can sell, there's somebody who understands the numbers and, and what you need to do to grow. Uh, you need to know there's somebody who can run the business. Uh, they may all be your skills, but it's okay if they're not. Uh, everything is purchasable. Uh, you, well, you, I'm not sure if they're skills or not, but you have to kind of be optimistic. You have to uh, work. You have to be able to work hard, and you have to, um, you know, just not give up. You know, I'm not sure I've ever been very good at resilience, etc. I just didn't have options, so I never gave up because I couldn't get a real job. But uh, it's it's good to have an attitude of don't give up. Thank <laughs> you.